behind us. Um, you forget just how busy it is in an indoor meeting, don't you, Denise? We've got the pole vault here. Yeah, pole vault hurdles. Couldn't go down the bottom because the high jumps commencing men's high jump. It's it's intimate. It's really close, and that's why concentrating it can be very difficult. For it certainly the can. Yeah, Lawrence Clark winning his first uh, national title, his first senior title, just last weekend in Sheffield, as, as Colin says, in great form. Andrew Cotter is going to take us through this one. Yeah, very good chance here for Lawrence Clark to test uh, what has been impressive for him so far this season. He's flying indoors, but here he has. Well, you can see Marys Merritt just inside him and outside Jarrett Eaton. Full look at the uh, start list. We can also for uh, Spencer Adams, Wayne Davis of Trinidad and Tobago, but Lawrence Clark right in the middle there. As I said, a, a chance to measure himself against Aris Merritt, who's coming back to fitness now. And David King goes in lane one, City of Plymouth athlete, third in Sheffield last weekend at the uh, National Championships behind Lawrence Clark and David Omaregi. There's Ray Stewart, we've seen him already in the uh, flat, but not making it through there. This is his preferred event, and he's run 7.69 this season. A decent time so far also for Spencer Adams, who goes in lane three. Has gone below 7.60 in his time, and not too far away from that this season. And the main thing for Ari's merit is he's been injury-free all winter. He's run 7.54, which is his quickest since 2012 when he swept all before him took the outdoors world record won the olympic gold won the indoor title in istanbul so what has lawrence clark got alongside him victory in sheffield last weekend also won in dusseldorf and his personal best down to 759 jarrett eaton he's a man who's gone below Seven and a half seconds back in 2012, not quite in that kind of form. There is Wayne Davis, used to represent the United States. He was a, a world youth champion back in 2007 in the United States colors. Only 7.92 this season. And on the outside, Nick Gale, Sail Harrier, former English champion, fourth at the UK Championships last weekend. So this is the first of two heats. First three go through automatically, and the two fastest losers over the two heats go through as well. David King in one, Ray Stewart in lane two, Spencer Adams in three, Aries Merritt goes in four, Lawrence Clark in five, Janet Eaton of the United States in six, Wayne Davis in seven, and Nick Gale in lane eight. The first heat in the men's 60 meters hurdles. From perfect silence, the roar of the crowd now lifts as Lawrence Clark with clattering hurdles alongside him as Janet Eaton. Now he's Merritt coming through. Now Clark finishes strongly on the dip. He might just have got it from Janet Eaton. And he's Merritt up there as well. Three go through automatically. They will be those three. And uh, well, we're talking beforehand, but you can't afford too many mistakes in the in the shortened version of the event indoors. Over 60 metres, any mistake will cost you. But Janet Eaton made a few there, but he still came through. Good finish, though, from Lawrence Clark. It was a good, strong performance by Lawrence. This is exactly what we want to see. He's had a lot of consistent performances around that 760 mark. So for me, it's a, another good performance. He'll be happy with that. He'll also be a little bit frustrated that he, he can't get into that 760 mark more often. That's what he wants to do. I know that's what he wants to set out in chief. But when you're competing at this kind of level, very highest level indeed, this is the only way you're going to get that improvement. You keep working, you keep pushing, you keep pushing until you hit that perfect race. He's a very, very consistent runner, isn't he? Outdoors, he's, he's banging away the 1350 mark all the time, perhaps just below that. And, and indoors, as you say, it's a very he just wants to make that take that next step. Very, very difficult to do. And the most important thing for Lawrence is he dips there just to, to take that. 
is that he keeps consistent, to be honest, because he needs to get into his training. He needs to keep that right balance with these type of competition and good training. That will really bring him on. Because as you said, the most important thing that he is consistent. And a word for Ari's merit, because coming back to all those hamstring problems, how does he look to you now? We'll see in the final. Well, flies the flag and flying it very well. They are taking victory in the heats. Just uh, Janet Eaton just getting second ahead of Aries Merritt. Those three go through automatically. Uh, Ray Stewart, Spencer Adams will have to wait and see the second heat, but a good win for Lawrence Clark.